Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Trogues, a new one from them. This is Nimble Giant Double IPA. Uh, very much enjoying their new design and they have a nice black hand on this one. Uh, good amount of information, 9% uh, ABV, 69 IBUs, uh, once a year produced. So it's going to be like something like Nugget Nectar, uh, brewed with Azaka, uh, Mosaic, and Simcoe. So really cool uh, label on this one, new design. Uh, really excited to dig in this is new beer. Uh, it's brewed fresh by... 1021 so by month i assume this beer is either a week fresh or five weeks fresh so somewhere around there um pretty good i assume it's only a week fresh uh because it's from pennsylvania to new york but let's hope it is that so uh beer comes in uh medium to deep gold color uh light cl uh, light clarity on that one um, you know light haze let's get the aroma on this one mm, quite nice uh yeah uh they're pretty right on the uh, descriptor you know ready read it but it's um Grapefruit rind, pineapple, honeysuckle. Uh, not too familiar with honeysuckle, but certainly it's kind of like a grapefruit and pineapple notes, a little bit of bready sweetness in there. Smells a little bit like a familiar West Coast double IPA, but less on the piney side, really the grapefruit and fruitiness uh, jumping through. Uh, definitely the moza um, uh, Azaka mosaic coming through. That'd be a cool name for a beer, actually. Mazaka. <laughs> Pretty nice. Cheers. <laughs> Mm, wow. Uh, wasn't expecting that. Um, familiar West Coast kind of style, uh, but quite fruity. Uh, definitely restraint on the bitter, uh, some restraint on the bitterness, uh, restraint on the pine quality. Instead, it's a really big juice bottom up front. Jumps out with, again, pineapple, uh, yellow grapefruit, uh, citrus peel. Leaning towards a little bit of peachiness, maybe leaning towards a touch of kind of mango quality. But instead, this general kind of um, a fruit candy kind of thing, again, mostly dominated by grapefruit and pineapple on this one. A little bit of like a, a medium to medium minus kind of bready sweetness in this one. Again, reminds me of a uh, something familiar to like maybe the unfiltered Enjoy By. But yeah, really nice drinkable, uh, juicy quality up front. A good amount of clean qualities throughout this double IPA. 9% is hard time showing through. I would have guessed... Um, Despite the bitterness on the back end, you know, you get a medium plus bitterness on the back end. I would have guessed it was something like a um, 7 to 8% double IPA, not 9%. Yeah, quite juicy, drinks clean, um, medium mouthfeel, a little bit of that bready sweetness in the middle. On the back end, medium plus bitterness, earthiness. Leaning towards a little bit of pine, dank qualities, but really the earthiness and the, the citrus pith. Uh, taking over on the finish uh dangerously drinkable for a nine percent uh tall boy i mean yeah buy four pack of this uh, i believe it's going for something like 16 dollars uh that's dangerous not the be best price out there but um very dangerous for a big big juicy uh double ipa really hides this nine percent very well i'm very surprised by that um as for rating gotta be one of the best beers that trogues has ever put out um yeah you know, other than their big multi beers or barrel aged beers, some of the scratch series beers that I haven't had, but for wide releases, easily their best beer. And you know me, I rag on Nugget Nectar, so sorry about that, but pretty nice stuff. Yeah, let's go with something like a 94 on this one. I'm pleasantly impressed. Um, clean double IPA at 9%. Um, personally, I would prefer if it was like a 75 or something and kept its uh, juiciness, but nice stuff. This is Nimble Giant from Trogues. Let me know, know what you think. Uh, cool new beer from Trogues. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.